What's going on, you guys? And welcome to the first edition of Film Fight. It's time to knuckle up as me and as me and Dark Knight 987 give you our review for which one was better, the 1941 Dumbo or the 2019 Dumbo. We're going to find out here in a few minutes as me and Dark Knight 97 are going to give you both our reviews for the 2019 and the 1941 Dumbo. Yes, major spoilers will be involved. So if you have not seen the 2019 Dumbo, uh, go see it and then come back. Uh, I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I want to be able to. Oh, yeah, by the way, I was sorry about that. Let me fix the color here. There we go. All right. So anyway. Um, so, yeah, the 2019 Dumbo and the 1941 Dumbo. And we're going to talk about both of them uh, here in just a second. Uh, let me see here. Da, 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 da. Okay, so. So, yeah. So, we're going to talk about the 1941 for, one first. And then we'll go into the, 19, the 2019 version. Okay, so there's going to be two ways of how we're going to do this. Uh, much like we did the thing about a few months back, back in, uh, back in October. Well, actually, the, it was actually back in November, actually, when we did it. Uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, we are going to talk about the plot. We're going to go into the plot, both plots. We're going to talk about why the movie, uh, we're going to, we're going to give our thoughts on Two particular things, the story and the differences in the movies themselves. Now, as you're wondering, now, as you're probably thinking, you're probably asking, well, Grim, well, why do you, why do you seem down? <laughs> well, I'll tell you when we get to the 2019 Dumbo, because I was very, very, very pissed when I saw that, when I saw the 2019 version. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to get into the 29th, so we're going to get into the 1941 version real quick. Uh, I'm going to go through the plot for this one, and we're going to talk about how different it, the, we're going to talk about this one, and then after that we'll go into the 2019 version. So here we go. <sighs> a flock of storks delivers babies while circus animals are being transported by train from their new winter quarters. Mrs. Jumbo, one of the elephants, receives her baby, who is soon made fun of by the other elephants. I hate those fucking bitches. I really do. <laughs> because of his large ears, and they nickname him Dumbo. When a storm comes... The elephants help set up the circus tents. Afterwards, they are, have a parade through town. However, Dumbo ends up in a muddy puddle, so Mrs. Jumbo has to wash him. When a group of boys torment Dumbo, Mrs. Jumbo responds by attacking one of the boys and losing her temper in the confusion. Mrs. Jumbo is deemed mad and tossed in a cage. See, I'm going to get into that too, because that pissed me off when I watched this as a kid. Um... Uh, Dumbo is shunned by the ele ele elephants with no parent to care for him. He is now alone. Timothy Mouse, uh, Timothy Q. Mouse, excuse me, who feels sympathy for Dumbo and becomes determined to help regain his spirits, appoints himself as Dumbo's mentor and protector. After being secretly encouraged by Timothy, the circus director makes Dum Dumbo the top of an elephant pyramid stunt. The performance goes awry as Dumbo trips over his ears and misses his target, causing the elephants to suffer various injuries and bring down the big top. Dumbo is made into a clown as a result, officially having the other elephants deem him no longer one of them, and plays the main role in an act that involves him fit, uh, falling into a vat of pie filling. Despite his newfound popularity and fame, Dumbo dislikes this job and is now more miserable than ever. To cheer Dumbo up, Timothy takes him to his to visit his mother. On the way back, Dumbo cries and then starts to hiccup. So Timothy takes him for a drink of water. 
uh, from a bucket, which, unknown to them, has ex- accidentally had a bottle of champagne knocked into it by the clowns. Um, as a result, Dumbo and Timothy both become drunk and see hallucinations of pink elephants. Oy, we're going to get into that too. <clears throat> The next morning, Dumbo and Timothy wake up in a tree, but soon fall into a lake. Timothy wonders where they got, how they got up in the tree, and concludes that Dumbo flew up there using his large ears as wings. With the help of, from a group of crows, Timothy is able to get Dumbo to fly again using a psychological trick of magic of a magical feather to boost his confidence. Back at the circus, Dumbo performs the same stunt, which involves jumping from the high from a high building. On the way down, Dumbo loses his, the feather. Timothy qu- quickly tells him that the feather was never magical and that he is still able to fly. Dumbo is able to pull off the dive and flies around the circus, finally striking back at his tormentors as stunned audience looks on in amazement. After this performance, Dumbo becomes a media sensation. Timothy becomes his manager, and Dumbo and Mrs. D- Jumbo are given a private car on the circus train, thus ending the 1941 version of Dumbo. Let's talk about two particular scenes, shall we? One that used to make me cry my eyes out, and the other one that scared the shit out of me as a kid. One of them was the baby mind scene. The other one was the pink elephant, on, pink, pink elephants on parade, thing, uh, a scene. Now, before going into there, I want to talk about the the, ele- the other elephants, the female elephants that are uh, that were talking crap. Ugh, I hate them so freaking much. What did you think? Of their mean ass. What did you think of their mean asses, dude? I when really watching the 1941 version. I, you know, I, like I said, I watched it as a kid. You know, I, I didn't understand things at the time because I was a kid. Yeah. But I can, I fell for Dumbo. I fell for it because, yeah, I'm going to criticize something. You know, that, that that's just what it was. It was criticizing. And it was, they were just mean as hell. I, did, I didn't like them one bit at all, too. Yeah. Watching them. And, oh my God, I, you know, <laughs> Poor Dumbo is all I can say, really. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Poor Dumbo, because Dumbo was trying to was is trying to, you know, he's trying to fit in. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And oh, we have to talk about the freaking crows. We will talk about them here in a little bit. Oh, we're gonna get to that. Definitely. Yeah, we have to talk about that because there's some shit that y'all guys need to know <laughs> uh, about the crows. And and really. Y'all motherfuckers should have watched this movie years ago when you were kids. But if you haven't seen this movie, pick up this goddamn son of a bitch on Blu-ray. Or something like that. But anyway. I'm sure they would, yeah. Yeah. But, um... This is how I feel about the... This is how I feel about this... About, uh... The elephants. The elephants were a bunch of assholes. That's how I felt. (laughs) Yeah. They, yeah. they were, they were, they, they made him miserable. They made it, they made his life miserable. You know, uh, Dumbo wanted, is trying to fit in. He's trying to fit in with, with yeah, everybody else and stuff like that. Um, and it's just, uh, see, I get, I'm, I'm getting teary eyed thinking about what happened, thinking about the baby mind scene, because that scene made me cry my eyes out like a son of a bitch dude my god oh my man god. him know that, dude. Know that, sitting dude. there him sitting there with tears in his eyes while his mother sings that song is the most saddest fucking scene you have ever seen in your entire life oh um, man yeah what did you think of the what did you think of uh baby mine well dude i agree with you that but you know that brought a tear to my eyes too, dude. I mean, yeah. Seeing them, like you said, the scene him sit there with the tears coming down his eyes, dude. It hits your heart. It pulls your strings, man. Yeah, it pulls at your heartstrings like a motherfucker, dude. It does, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. 
But the one scene that the but but it's the scene afterwards where <laughs> Dumbo, unbeknownst to him, is think, drink, thinking that he's drinking water, but he's drinking champagne oh that got knocked down by the freaking cl- by a stupid clown. Man. Um, and the pink elephants on parade scene. Is so horrifying, dude. It's so terrifying for and and not to mention it's dark as fuck when you yeah. see the damn thing. It 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 it's like it's like you're on a, it's like a it's like a freaking person on acid watching yeah. something like that exactly. and being scared exactly. out of their damn mind. What, what did you oh, think yeah. of Pink Elephants on Parade, man? Yeah, dude. Uh, I agree with you. What happened? It was. The dark tones to it, uh, just how, just by looking at it. I couldn't even, I couldn't even look, because I was a kid. Like I said, yeah. I was a kid at the time, I didn't know much, you know, but I couldn't look at that part. I couldn't even look, because that's, that's how freaked out I, about it, uh, I, I freaked out by it I was. Yeah. I, I couldn't even, I, I didn't want to, <laughs> my God, dude. Like, I almost literally pissed myself, literally, because this, that's how freaky this, this, I can't even get that silk out of my head this day, dude. I still could not get that out of my head. Yeah. And... One of the things that I loved about elephants, pink elephants on parade, is that how the imagery, the imagery is so horrifying. It is so terrifying that it scares the hell out of you. Oh, yeah. And and then when the nightmare is over and these pink elephants turn into clouds, that transition, that freaks that freaks you out even more. <laughs> You know what I mean? But one of the things that I felt bad, I felt bad for Mrs. Jumbo. I felt bad for the mother, for Dumbo's mother. Because there's a scene at the beginning of the movie, and and I was talking about it just earlier. Well, during the plot, yeah. Yeah, during the plot, is that these freaking kids, these fucking humans, are going and messing with the little kid, is messing with Dumbo. You know what I mean? And yeah. they're pulling at his ears. They're making his life miserable. And I don't blame her. I don't blame Mrs. Jumbo, dude, for going nuts the I way she either. did. I don't blame I don't her at either. all. That's just a mother. It's a mother instinct. When the mother sees their kid in trouble, they do something about it. And that's what Mrs. Jumbo did. Because that was her child. That was her kid. That was her baby elephant that she had. And she saw how cool and and mean those boys were being, and how sad Dumbo was being because he was being made fun of. And she did something about it. that. That's just a mother instinct. That's what kicked in. Yeah, it kicked in, and then and then and then they're gonna t- they're gonna put her in chains, dude. And then they're gonna put her, and they're oh, gonna they're gonna they're, that is cruel and unnatural, and it's not right. There's a lot of stuff in this movie that had that had, that's cruel. Yeah. And there's also a lot of stuff in here that most people would say fine races. Let's talk about the crows, shall we? Oh, God. oh, oh my, my God. Jesus Lord. Help you... me, Lord. Oh my God. The crows, dude. The crows. I while I understand they're trying see, I get where where the crows were coming from, that they were trying to help Dumbo. They're trying to help yeah. Dumbo. But also the 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 way they were going about it was that, that they were kind of making fun of him a little bit. A little bit, At least, yeah. I, at least how, that's how I feel about the whole situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um... Yeah, uh, yeah go ahead, man. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, yeah uh, uh... That's the way I, I, I saw it, too. I'm glad I'm the only one that saw that way. Yeah. Um, and like I said, you know, we, I was a kid, so I didn't really understand that much about the crows until now years later that I'm an adult that I now that I get it now that yeah. I've been it to me but you know as a kid watching it I never kind of understood much about what the crows and stuff like that but yeah yeah because the crows the crows at that time black people were going through their own problems that's and right. I figured I figured that's why the crows the crows see it, he uh see Dumbo was an outcast. So were the crows. So were t- so were the this mouse, Timothy Mouse, and I love Timothy Q Mouse. Yeah. See, yes. it the 2019 version pissed me off, and I'll tell you why later on when we do that version. But 
there was so much stuff in this I loved. There was so much stuff in here that I found very that I, even as a thirty year old man, a thirty something year old man, it scares the hell out of me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it's still a good movie. I still enjoyed it. But yeah. now, now the fun is over. We talked about Dumbo, the 1941 version. Now we're going to talk about this one. Now we're going to have to talk about the shit version. Don't worry, you'll explain why you said that. Yeah. Give it time, and and I'll explain. Okay, so the shit version of Dumbo was directed by Tim Burton. See, I don't understand that, that... uh, I'll, I'll get to that in just a second. God damn it! Okay, so the so the ver- so this version was directed by Tim Burton. The music was done by Danny Elfman, two of the greatest people ever. How the how the hell you messed this up? I have no idea. Uh, Colin Farrell stars in it. Michael Keaton, Danny DeVito, Eva Green, Alan Arkin. Look at these. Look at the cast. Of people that you could have used the right way in this freaking movie. Ah, but anyway, I'm gonna get into plot to the plot and I'll tell you why this movie pissed me off. Okay, so a question performer and World War One veteran Holt Ferrier, played by uh, Colin Farrell, returns after the war to the Medici Brothers uh, circus run by Max Medici, played by the legendary Danny DeVito. However, the circus has run into financial troubles and Medici has been forced to sell the circus's horses. So Medici reassigns Holt as the handler for the circus pregnant elephant Jumbo, or Mrs. Jumbo. Mrs. Jumbo gives birth to a calf with abnormally large ears, and Medici orders Holt to hide the ears before he'll allow the public to see the calf. However, the calf accidentally reveals his ears in his d- debut performance. The crowd mockingly names the cat calf Dumbo. You see why I'm getting pissed off? <laughs> Alright. Yeah. And pelts him with peanuts and other objects. Dumbo, jump, Mrs. Jumbo, distressed by Dumbo's treatment and rampages into the ring, causing extensive damage and accidentally killing a member of the circus staff. Afterwards, Medici sells Jumbo in order to prevent a public relations disaster. Yeah, just like this fucking movie was a disaster. Uh, Holt's children, Millie, played by Nico Parker, and Joe, played by Finley, Hobbins com- comfort Dumbo and realize Dumbo can fly by flapping his ears. They also discovered that feathers are the key to Dumbo's willingness to fly. In an- p- another performance, Dumbo plays the role of a firefighter to put out a fire with water sprayed from his truck. However, the performance goes wrong and Dumbo is trapped on the high platform surrounded by flames. Mi- Millie risks her life to deliver a feather to Dumbo, giving him the confidence to fly. <sighs> oh my god, man. Okay, the audience is astounded when Dumbo begins to fly, and word of Dumbo begins to spread. V.A. Vanderveer, played by Michael Keaton, the owner of Dreamland Amusement Park, approaches Medici uh, uh, and proposes a collaboration. Medici would become Vanderveer's partner and Medici's uh, brother's circus troupe, would be employed to perform a dreamland to at dreamland later vendivir demands that dumbo should fly with trapeze artist colette marchant ava green on his back however their de- debut per- performance at dreamland goes wrong with dumbo nearly falling off a high platform leading him to trump trumpeting in alarm dumbo hears his mother call mother's call in response and realizes that his mother is an exhibit elsewhere in dreamland Dumbo flies out of the circus ring and reunites with his mother fearing that Dumbo's mother may become a distraction to Dumbo Vandiver orders Dumbo to be taken away and killed 
God damn it. He also fires off the Medici bro he also fires all the Medici performers from Zerinland. When Hold and the rest of Medici troop learn Vandevere tends to kill Jumbo, they resolve to set both Jumbo and Dumbo free. The circus performers utilize their various talents to break Jumbo out of their enclo- out of her enclosure while Holt and Colette guide Dumbo to fly out of the circus. Vandevere attempts to stop them. Bloody 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 blah. You know the whole fucking story. Alright. Now, let's talk about this god awful piece of crap. <sighs> They changed a lot. They changed a lot in this goddamn movie. Oh boy. The 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 crows are not there anymore. Nope, no crows. Uh, Timothy no Q Mouse, Mouse, you got rid of him. You decided to shit. You decided to shit on him. Then, not to mention, you fuck up two of the greatest scenes ever from the original one. The elephants on parade, as we talked about in the other freaking version, and you yeah. talked about, and and this and baby mine, one of the saddest scenes ever, ever, one of the saddest scenes in the original Dumbo. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You decided to screw around. See, god damn it, man. Tim Burton has been known for some good shit, but he has been known for some bad, awful, awful, awful fucking shit, too. Like, like this. But, god damn it. Uh, some of those I can freaking say that they were good. Like, the Alice in Wonderland movies. Some people say that, they're, that those movies were stupid. I think I thought they were good. Even though I didn't like how 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 he said that it wasn't Al- really Alice in Wonderland. It was Underland. You know? I don't I don't know. Come on, man. Then you're trying to make... One of the... You're trying to make Michael Keaton like Johnny Depp. Are you fucking serious? Oh, good. And that's not possible. You can't, you can't do that. And then, on top of this, you have... I did not like any of the human characters at all. I did not like any of the human characters at all. I thought that they were all dumb. Oh my god. I feel so bad for Dumbo now. I feel so bad for Dumbo. After watching this piece of shit. After watching this god awful movie. I feel so bad for... They didn't even... Dude, in a movie called Dumbo... You don't even... You, they don't even say nothing about... They, they don't even talk about him... All that much... He's oh. barely in the goddamn movie... Are you goddamn serious? Dumbo is barely in the movie... I don't know what Tim Burton was smoking oh, when he made this, dude... I have no uh. idea what he was smoking when he made this shit... You screw up two great scenes from the original one. Yeah. Oh my god. This makes me worry so worried about Aladdin. This makes me so worried about the Lion King. This makes me so worried. This is why I don't like adaptations all that much. Remakes. Because exactly. you do this. This crap does is is the epitome of bullshit. And there was and and there was some stuff, there was some stuff, dude, that was good in the movie, like the fact that Michael Buffer makes a make makes a uh, a cameo in the movie. Cameo. Wow. I love that, but it was just not enough, dude. Yeah. It was just not yeah. enough. But what did you what do you think? What do you think, man? Uh, even though I have not seen this, and it sounds like I never will now because of Glenn's review, what he's saying. Thank you. Because Please do not ever see this garbage. Please do not ever see this garbage piece oh, of I, shit. I'm not going to. I'm just telling you now, on the record here, that I'm not going to see because you know what? That's I agree with Grim about the remakes. I mean, and the reason I said this, I, I, I just, when it comes to remakes of certain films, dude, you really see you see where they change the story big time. They, you know, they 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 take out some scenes. 
that or in the original film, they, like like this, you know. And that's why I don't like remakes. I don't like reboots, remakes because it didn't work. It doesn't. It didn't work. It doesn't. Hell no, it doesn't. It does not work at all. One bit. No. One damn bit does it. Was it? Does it work? So we're gonna get into we're gonna get into the ratings right now. And you could and you could well aware sure you can make damn sure of which one is the better one. Yeah, the original one is the better one. The nineteen forty one one wins this round against this garbage against this piece of shit garbage movie. Okay, so I gave the nineteen forty one a ten out of ten. And I gave the two thousand nineteen version a freaking two. There was some stuff that were that was good. This de- deserves a two out of ten because it was awful. It it shouldn't have it shouldn't have been able to go go this far, dude. For God's sakes, there is you could have you could have made this for shot for shot. You didn't need the crows, but at least give us Timothy Mouse. At least li- at least give us Timothy Q Mouse. At least at least that. But but you have <sighs> you could have done and and dude. Tim Burton is a good director when he wants to be, <sighs> but, but it did, it just not it, it just did not work out at all. No, not um, whatsoever. But what do you, yeah. but what do you think, man? Yeah, you know Tim Burton. Uh, we're not saying anything, I'm not saying anything bad of Tim Burton. I say he is a good director. Yeah. But this one that he did here, this one here, this this remake of Dumbo, it, it, it didn't work. And this is what we're saying. Our opinion. I know many of you out there are thinking, "Whoa, oh, you guys may be wrong." Well, that may be your opinion. But and our some opinion, of you probably, some of you are probably siding with us on this on this subject too, yeah, because I'm are. pretty yeah, sure yeah. some of you, some bitches, went to go see this movie. <laughs> some of you went to go see this god awful movie. And and for, and for this makes me this 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 makes me even feel more more bad. For Dumbo, because come on, dude. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Yeah. Uh, there could have been. You could have done a lot more with this. You could have done a lot more better with this version. You could have yeah, made it a lot more better. But no, yeah. you had to fuck up. You had to mess around and screw the pooch on this pr- particular thing. And that's not right. That's not right at all. Noise. So, yeah. Noise. So yeah. They, tr- I, I mean, I'm not gonna say they didn't try. The actors are giving it all. They're all. But come on, man. Come on. Are you serious? You're gonna go with this. You're gonna go with this version. How you're gonna do with this version? Come on. Give me yeah, a break. Man. I don't know, man. But uh, if y'all guys agree with us, tell us in the comments why. If you guys think that this movie was com- was okay, was okay at best, uh, tell us why in the comments. If you guys think that this movie was even good, it was it was was good, which I have no idea why would you think that. Let what? us know in the comment section down below, and all yeah, that. But, but I don't know, man. It. it I yeah, know for I, a fact. I know. I just know that I'm never watching this piece of shit again, ever. I'm never watching it. Uh, and it's. So and, I believe that. Yeah, and it's like what I was telling you yesterday, dude. I told you yesterday, hey, dude. I'm scared to watch this fucking movie. With all the with all the bad reviews that well all the negative reviews that I've heard like it's yeah. mixed, as far as I know it's mixed. But with what I saw with what I saw yesterday, what I saw last night, you messed this up so bad, so bad, yeah. and it and it gets me worried now. How are you gonna match up to the Lion King? How are you gonna match up to Aladdin? How the fuck yeah. are those adaptations gonna match up to the original versions? Exactly. And, and those I, two movies, 
I loved as a kid. Those were my jam. I, I grew up on the land so much. And you know, I, I used to have the original VHS of those films. Yeah. And I enjoyed them as a kid. So please, exactly. Now I'm scared too. How is it going to match up to the original animated films? There's VHS? no way. There's no way. There's no way that the, it can match up. There's no way. Yeah. No, no way in, in hell could this goddamn shit match up. Because... Damn right. No way. Come on, man. Come on. But, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say about this, but I know this. I'm pissed. I hate this. I, I hate like that it. they made this movie, Gar- that they made this movie this way. Yeah, I don't know. So, uh, if you guys like this and want to see more episodes of uh, of Film Fights, I'll be p- uh, posting some more episodes very soon uh, for Film Fights. Uh, we'll probably get we'll probably get into Judge Dredd uh, sometime very soon. I'm hoping very soon because I got a lot to say about the I got, I got a lot to say about his fucking remake. Oh, you damn right! I got a lot to say about that fucking shit yeah, remake. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, but, uh, content coming to the channel, and uh, yeah, so let us know what you guys think about it. So, yeah, so with that in mind, uh, that's gonna be it for me and Dark Nine Nine Eight Seven. Um, I'm gonna get out of here with my bubble, with my uh, my partner <laughs> crime himself. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for another episode of Film Fights, because we gotta, because I can it, and yes, that is gonna be Judge Dredd, because I'm gonna, sh- I'm gonna fucking make that movie squeal like a piggy with how with how much I'm gonna, with how much hate I have for that shit movie um we'll catch up on that so check out his uh, channel for more content and mine I will have some more content very soon check us out and uh, enjoy the rest of your day guys now yeah. from here so yeah that's gonna be it for me and Dark Nine Nine Eight Seven. uh thank you for watching I uh I'm always Mr. Grimm or Fallen 2 with Dark did with Dark Ninety Seven, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you at the movies. As always, I'll see you all in the afterlife. Peace.